everyone, it's Stephanie here with a video from My Favorite Things. In today's episode of MFTV, we are going to be using products from the new June 2017 release, and we are going to be focusing on the new Lovable Leopard stamp set and coordinating dynamics. This is a really great stamp set for all you leopard lovers out there. There's three really adorable leopard images in three different poses, and my favorite is definitely this guy here who's kind of just hanging out on this tree branch. I just think he's super adorable and thought he would be really fun to kind of have over top of an open window on a card front. So I used my mini Misty to stamp the image with some black licorice hybrid ink and using the Misty allowed me to double stamp that image so that I got a really nice black crisp impression. And now I'm taking my Copic markers and I'm adding color to the leopard and to the tree branch that he's sitting on. So I'm keeping the coloring on these images pretty simple. I used three different shades of like an orangey yellow color for the leopard and just started with my lightest color and then added in the medium and darks to get some nice shading. I add a little bit of pink to his cheeks and now I'm going to go ahead and do the branch here with some of my favorite brown colors. This is my favorite color combination anytime I'm coloring with brown. And then I'm going to take a couple of actually three different green markers and do some shading on these leaves here. And then once I have all of this coloring done I'm going to take the coordinating die and go ahead and cut him out. When I cut him out I'm also going to cut a second image out with the same die just from some plain white cardstock and we're going to use that as a backer when we assemble the image over the window. So now to create the window I'm going to use the square peekaboo window dynamics die. This is going to create the window on the front of my card panel here and it's going to give us a really fun stitch detail around the outside edge and you can see here that this leopard is going to fit perfectly right across that window opening. So I'm going to take this to my die cutting machine and this panel is already cut with a rectangle stitch die from the Blueprints 24 collection. So I have a nice finished edge on my panel and now I have this really great window opening with that stitch detail around it. So now that I have the window cut from the panel, I need to make sure that I have an opening cut from my card base as well so that we can see right through the, to the inside of the card. So what I'm going to do is I have a grout gray top folding card base and I'm just putting my panel on top exactly where I want to adhere it when I have the card finished. And I just took a pencil and lightly drew a line in there so I know exactly where that window is going to be. And then I just took a die from my Square Stacks Dynamics, slightly larger than the window on the panel, and I cut it from the card base. So now I have this opening in the card base, and when I layer the panel over top, it's going to completely cover that and allow me to see through to the inside of the card. Before I start to assemble everything, I do want to stamp the sentiment onto the panel. So I just picked one of the sentiments from the stamp set, and I'm going to stamp it directly underneath that open window area with some black licorice dye ink. I love our friendship is always an adventure. I think it goes really well with this image, and it fit perfectly underneath that window. So now you can see when I layer the leopard on top in the front, that second die cut that we cut is going to layer on the back and completely cover up the kind of the coloring that you can see through the cardstock and just make the inside of the card look finished as well as the outside. So now for the panel that we cut to go inside the card, I want to create a little bit of cloud detail to kind of make it look like there's a sky behind the leopard when the card is closed. So I'm just taking some tumble glass distress ink and it doesn't pick up super well on camera but it, it is there, I do have a nice cloud pattern and I'm going to position that onto the inside of the card so that it lines up perfectly with the panel on the outside so that when the card is closed that cloud detail kind of shines through to the front. I really love having the leopard image over top of that cloud detail. I think it really adds a lot of interest to the card rather than just having that leopard over a plain white space. So I'm just using some tape runner now and adding all of the panels to the card. You can see when I position this one here, it completely covers that opening. And you can see when I open the card that you can kind of see that white cardstock panel through the open window because the gray area is cut larger than the white panel on the front. If that bothers you, you can cut a second panel to adhere on the inside, but it didn't really bother me. I didn't mind at all. So I just left it as is and then adhered the second leopard die cut piece here, the white one. I just adhered that directly over top of the panel there. You can see where we can see the coloring through the cardstock. And what this does is it kind of just covers that up and makes it look more finished on the inside. So once I had everything adhered to the card front and the leopard is now kind of peeking through that front window, I decided to do a little bit more stamping on the inside of the card. I love how everything kind of came together there, but I feel like when you open the card there's a lot of empty space and that cloud detail just I thought really wanted to have one of those little birds kind of stamped in there. So what I did is I stamped the You Make Me Wildly Happy sentiment at the bottom. This way you're not going to see it peeking through that window. And then I took one of the bird images and I'm just going to kind of stamp him above the word happy just to kind of make it look like he's standing on the words but he's up in the clouds that we've created. I just think it adds a little bit something extra to the card and I just really like the finished look of it. 
So now I'm going to finish off the card by adding a few clear sequins to the front with some silver stickles in the center. And then that is going to complete our card today. So we have this really fun window card with this adorable leopard as the main focus on the card. But then you have this really great cloud pattern kind of peeking through that open window. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you would like a chance to win a $20 gift card to the MFT online store, please leave a comment on this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will announce a winner in next week's episode of MFTV. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.